hey what's up guys so we're gonna start on a new tutorial series um, today is on interactivity in Unreal Engine 4 I've received a lot of requests and a lot of uh, our followers have asked me to do a tutorial series on adding interactivity in Unreal Engine for their Archivist projects so of course um, this is one of the functions that we can have when we are using Unreal Engine right apart from virtual reality so uh, this is the new series that um, I'm going to start you know starting from something simple like turning on a light um, opening a door or changing some materials and then we will progress to using UMG to add some uh, user interface and then we will go move on to things that are a bit more advanced like um, adding videos and all these things in, into our project you know so I'm quite excited to start this tutorial and so today for our section one I'm going to show you how to turn on lights using a keyboard um, as, as our um, kind of uh, interaction so we will use the button L to turn on the lights and then we will use the button K to turn it off you know something like that so um, let's get started So the first thing I want to discuss when we are talking about lights is the mobility of our light. So as we know in Unreal Engine, we have uh, many different kind of lights, right? So for this particular example, I'm going to use a spotlight for these two lamps that I have. Okay, so I'm going to drag it out and we know that for the mobility side, we have three types of mobility. We have the static, stationary and movable. And the static and stationary light, they um, will affect our baking, right? They will be um, taken in into our light mesh system and then it will bake into um, our project which is not what I want when we, I do interactivity because when I start my game when I start my project the light is already baked so I'm gonna use a movable light so that so that it will not affect any big lighting however we know that movable light is the most expensive one which is computationally most expensive so it will take out a lot of resources so one of the things that I'll consider when I'm doing lights in, a, uh, in Blueprint is that I will turn all of them off when I start the game. I'm going to show you how and I'll only turn it on uh, by interaction during the game. So by doing that, we can save some uh, resources when we play the game, you know. So, so that is um, one of the things that we have to consider when we are using the light. So the first thing to do when we want to create this um, interactive light, the first thing to do is, of course, to use Blueprint and create a Spotlight Blueprint. So after I've dragged out my light into the map, what I will do is I'll just add a click on this Blueprint icon here right now to change this light into a Blueprint uh, light. Okay. When I click on the Blueprint and Add Script button, what it will ask me to do is um, it will ask me to save this Blueprint in my content uh, folders okay personally i always like to store all my blueprints in another uh, specific folder so i'll just create a blueprint and then i'll create a light blueprints okay and i'll save all my light blueprints here okay so once the blueprint is created it will create a blueprint uh, inside my blueprint folder and of course, uh, this particular spotlight then becomes a blueprint uh, and instead of just a normal spotlight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the spotlight in between um, these lamps and um, so that so that we can kind of use this spotlight as uh, for, for both of these lamps. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn off the visibility of the light because like I say, dynamic lights are quite computationally expensive. Yeah, so um, I will start all my lights to be uh, not visible first and then I'll turn it on in, in game. So all lights, all blueprinted lights, all interactive lights, I will always set it to see, uh, to off the visibility, which is under the, under the blueprint, under this uh, rendering um, tab, we can uncheck the visible uh, checkbox, yeah. So once that is done, the light is not r rendered and we, in a sense, we have turned off the light and then we will use Blueprint to turn it on later. 
So right now I'm going to show you how to turn on the light in game using the keyboard button L and turn it off using the keyboard button M. Okay, in how, how are you going to do that is we are going to use level blueprint. So uh, where do we find the level blueprint is under this uh, blueprint button and then we click on open level blueprint. So this level blueprint basically specifies all the blueprints that we can design for these specific levels. So it doesn't just specific, uh, specifically affect this spotlight blueprint. I can have, I can create another pond light which I will eventually create in this tutorial series um, for some kind of a cove light under this cabinet. So how do we then know um, the specific commands or the specific blueprints that we are going to um, design for this spotlight will only affect this spotlight. So one way to do that is to use the reference. Okay, how do we... Um, get a reference basically is we just have to highlight the, the spotlight blueprint right click and then press create a reference to spotlight blueprint okay when you highlight um unreal engine will 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 have um because it's context sensitive it will um highlight to you uh, this create reference um so that you can easily create it okay um so once that is done whatever commands that we, we design whatever blueprints that we design we can own and we want it to specifically affect only this spotlight blueprint we can then use this reference to point it to the uh, blue, uh, the blueprint uh, uh, maps okay so um, let's continue after I built the blueprint map you understand what I'm saying uh, even better so right now I'm going to use the L keyboard uh, um, input to to affect this so what I'll do is I'll just type keyboard um, event and then I look for the L key, uh, L key okay so what I'm going to do is when I press the L key it's going to toggle the visibility okay so what I'm going to do is um, drag the L and then I'm going to look for the toggle or rather maybe we can look for visibility no uh, then what we'll do is using this blueprint here because all these blueprints are context sensitive, right? So um, when it comes from the reference to that spotlight, it probably is easier. Okay, so we will look for this uh, set visibility. Okay. So once that is done, um, the new visibility will be, I will check it so that it is a one and then I will connect the L to this uh, input here. Okay, we can compile and let's test it out right now okay so right now as you can see it's not turned on so when I press L you can see that the lamp is turned on yeah let me show you one more time okay right now the lamp is not turned on but when I press L it's turned on okay so that is how we can set the L button and then we were going to set do the same thing for the M to turn it off okay so now I'm going to press M or other keyboard input and look for the M button. Okay, and I'll just duplicate this. And then assign this input and this time around I'll set the visibility to uh, off. Okay, and then we can test it out. So L to turn it on, M to turn it off. So that's it for this section one. Um, I'm going to call it section one A because uh, I'm not done yet. But uh, what I like to do is I always like to break it into chunks of uh, videos of 10 minutes or so. So in the next section one B, I will go through um, basically right now the bulb is made out of glass material. Um, what I'm going to do go through is that when we turn on the light, the material will change to an emissive material and when we turn it off, it will change back to the glass material. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for our next tutorial. Thank you and uh, do comment inside the comment section on uh, what other, other things that you would like to learn about interactivity uh, for ArchVis in um, Unreal Engine. So this will give us some ideas of what we can include in our tutorial class as well. And basically, if we can do it, if, if we know how to do it, we'll definitely try and include it into um, our tutorial class, uh, our other tutorial course. 
okay so uh, if you like it uh, like our video please like our videos and uh, feel free to comment on our uh, on the comment tab as well thank you so much and uh, i'll see you soon